how to play audible audiobooks on any Sonos speaker. In this video, I'll tell you about the current situation with Sonos and Audible. Then I'll explain the official solution and also AirPlay and AirPlay 2, which is coming to the Sonos in 2018. Then I'll show you how to use AudioBridge to stream content from your Mac or iOS device to your Sonos. If you've brought a Sonos product with the hope of listening to your favourite audiobooks from Audible, then as of the 28th of December 2017 you'll be disappointed, as Sonos does not natively support Audible. Even the Play One with built-in Alexa currently does not support Audible, despite Alexa and Audible both being owned by Amazon. Audible was available as a music service on Sonos up until autumn of 2016. However, an update rendered it incompatible. In April 2017, Sonos said that they were working on a solution. The official solution is to use the line in port on your Sonos speaker. However, not all Sonos speakers have a line in port. The ones that do are the Sonos Play 5, the Sonos Connect and the Sonos Connect Amp. However, once you've plugged your device into the lining socket of your speaker, you can listen to it on any Sonos speaker, including the Play 1s, Play 3, the Play Bar and Play Bass on your network. Apple AirPlay AirPlay is Apple's audio and video streaming protocol. In October, Sonos announced that it will be adding the latest version of AirPlay, AirPlay 2, to its speakers in 2018. If you can't wait until then, then in this video I'll show you how to use AudioBridge on your Mac to stream AirPlay content from your iOS device or Mac to any Sonos speaker on the same network as your Mac. It costs around £8.99, which is around $10. US dollars. And it's available from http colon backslash backslash audiobridge dot site. So first of all we need to go to the audiobridge website, which is audiobridge dot site. And then we can click on try it and that will download audiobridge. So now I click into the downloads and double click on the audio bridge icon. Then I drag audio bridge into my application folder. And to start audio bridge, I'll use spotlight and simply type in audio bridge. And then press enter. And I know what this thing is, so I'll click on open. Just click open here. So now I've got audio bridge running and I'm ready to use it on my iPhone. And first of all, I can check that audio bridge is working by clicking on the icon in my taskbar. And I can see now that audio bridge is running and I can actually see all of my Sonos speakers. If I click on Preferences, I can see which particular speakers AudioBridge is going to work with. So now, on my iPhone, I will load up uh, Audible. And I'll choose the audiobook that I want to play through my Sonos speakers. At the top of the screen, there is the AirPlay icon. So if I press on that, and sometimes it can take quite a few seconds for the Sonos to actually appear, but it has now. So the one I want to play it on is the Office Play 5. So I tap on that, and then tap on Done. Usually the crew would have time for a and the audio will start playing. The thing with AudioBridge is, is there is a short delay between pressing the play button on your Audible app 
and audio actually coming out of your speakers. And the same happens when you press the pause button. There is a delay between you pressing it and it stopping. This also means that it isn't suitable for watching video on your iOS device and then having the audio coming out of your Sonos speakers because there will be a delay. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did then please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel to find out when we create new videos. If you'd like to learn more about Sight Airdale then please visit our website or join us on Facebook.